Hey everyone, this is Muscle Nerd. I'm part of the iPhone dev team. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple example of a hardware dongle that can be used to boot the iPod Touch second generation into a jailbroken setup. If you've been following our iPod Touch 2G releases for the last month, then you probably know that we have both a tethered jailbreak and a semi-tethered jailbreak. The tethered jailbreak, which we call Red Snow Lite, requires you to connect your iPod to a computer when it power cycles, otherwise it won't even boot. The semi-tethered jailbreak doesn't have that requirement. You can still boot your iPod without being near a computer, but in that case you'll end up temporarily with a non-jailbroken system. Now it turns out the iPod can get very, very, very close on its own to booting into a jailbroken setup. It literally now comes down to just being 8 bytes away. 8 bytes is all that keeps your jailbroken iPod Touch 2G for booting on its own. And what are those 8 bytes? Here they are. Run, space, RS, carriage return. If you're able to send these 8 bytes over a serial link to your iPod, that's all it takes to boot a jailbroken system. Of course, there's a little bit of setup involved beforehand, but that setup just needs to be done once. After that, it's just these 8 characters at every boot. Now, of course, you don't need a full computer to send 8 serial characters. There are many simple hardware dongles you can build that are capable of sending 8 characters over a 3-volt serial link. Here's one such dongle. This is my badge from last year's DEF CON 16 conference. My DEF CON 16 badge can boot my iPod Touch 2G. The idea is if I can get a badge to boot the iPod, then almost anything can. Now, granted, the DEF CON badges for the last few years have been these really cool designs done by Joe Grand, also known as Kingpin. The badges contain little microcontrollers, along with various LEDs and gizmos, but a simple modern microcontroller is certainly capable of sending eight characters over a serial link. That's what I programmed this one to do. When I push this button on the back of the badge, the microcontroller sends the eight characters over this little cable to the iPod. And that's all it takes. Now, um, by the way, almost everything else you see on this badge is actually overkill for this application. Really all that matters is the microcontroller, the clock crystal, the battery, and the button. None of the other components that you see on this badge are even needed or used for the iPod dongle. Okay, so here's the demo. When I push the button on the bottom of my DEF CON 16 badge, my iPod Touch 2G will boot. The Dev Team Pineapple you see here is affirmation that the system is now booting into a pwned and jailbroken state. The custom logo means that we've circumvented the chain of trust that usually goes into showing this screen. We've broken the chain of trust pretty early, so everything after that is compromised. I'll start a little demo of a jailbroken application. Now, we'll be doing a write-up on how you can set up your iPod to be just eight characters away from booting, and then you can build a simple dongle like this one to boot it when you're away from your computer. That's it for now. Our site is blog.iphone-dev.org. Thanks for watching.